Hey guys, Nathan here for PSN Trophy Wiki, and right now we're going to be looking at another trophy list for a game that has gone live on Sony's servers, but does not yet have any guides or much information written about it. So this game is Wheel of Fortune, which of course is based on the popular TV game show, and it's actually the third Wheel of Fortune game that has had a trophy list uh, available for it on Sony consoles. So the first one was a 2009 game, I just had a PSN size uh, list with no platinum trophy. And then in 2012, there was another PS3 game that did have a platinum trophy, and this was a completely separate game from the first one. All right. And then now what we're looking at is the first PS4 Wheel of Fortune game. And, well, unfortunately, we're back down to a PSN size no platinum list. Okay, so this game, it only has 13 trophies, none of which is a platinum. Uh, but on the flip side, it looks like this trophy list is... I don't know, it looks fairly easy. It looks like there's nothing that you actually have to go out of your way for at all. It's the type of thing where if you play a bunch of rounds of the game, you'll just end up getting all of the trophies. So let's let's have a look at them. So, I mean, the first one's uh, first time to buzz in for a toss-up round. I'll, you'll probably get on your first game through the game. And then there's a couple of these uh, these trophies, one $50,000 total, and then a bit further down, one $100,000 total, and then a bit further down, one $500,000 total. It looks like one $500,000 total will be the trophy that you spend most of your time working towards. So if you're familiar with Wheel of Fortune, um, you're probably aware that you, you'll you'll probably make, in a good game, you'll probably make about $50,000 or so. And that, that's, I mean, realistically, that's roughly the upper limit. There are ways to get more than that, but they're, they're fairly rare. Um, so you're probably looking at 10 or so games if, if you, I don't know, use some sort of online cheat or something like that to help you solve the puzzles to make sure that you win every game. Uh, if you play more naturally and just play the game how you like, you're probably looking at, I don't know, maybe 20 games. Each game's probably going to be about 20 to 25 minutes, so you're looking at, I don't know, probably something like 4 to 8 hours to get all the trophies in this game, because this one's, this is the one that's going to take you the most time, but fortunately you can just sort of work towards it naturally while you're getting the other trophies. All right, and what are these other trophies? Well, solve 10 puzzles. So yeah, you're again, you're going to be playing at least the uh, well, at least a couple games, because there's not going to be 10 games uh, in a, sorry, there's not going to be 10 puzzles in a single game, so you're going to have to play a few games of this, um, but it, that'll come naturally while you're working towards $500,000, then five matches, again, will come naturally while, while working towards $500,000, uh, will come naturally, will come naturally, will come naturally, will come naturally. Um, so the only other things to note really are solve a puzzle under express mode. I don't know exactly what this is, but I guess it's some sort of new game mode or something like that. Uh, and then similarly, this this one down here, solve a puzzle with less than 20% of the letters revealed. This one, it may or may not come naturally while you're going for $500,000, but it's nothing to worry about. If it doesn't come naturally, there are Hangman and Wheel of Fortune solvers online that you can use to help you solve a, a puzzle very quickly, and this should not be this should not be troublesome, even if it doesn't come naturally. So just maybe one cleanup trophy after you get all the other ones, after you get the $500,000. So there's really nothing to worry about here. There's no uh, horrible luck-based trophies. Like in the, in the 2012 game, the... Uh, the list with the platinum, there is one trophy that was really, really luck based and it required you to get the one million dollar prize in the game. So fortunately there's nothing like that in this game. Because this trophy here, the one million dollar prize, you could only get it in the bonus round of the game. And so first you had to win the game and get to the bonus round. And when you got there you had a I believe it was a one in twenty four chance to actually get the one million dollar prize. So you had to win the game and then in the bonus round you had a one in twenty four chance to have a chance at the $1 million prize, and then you had to win the bonus round as well. And, I mean, there's no real way to exploit this or anything like that. You just had to keep on playing through 20 to 25-minute games, and each time you had a 1 in 24 chance. So it's really painful to get. There's nothing like that in this new list, no luck-based trophies. So it looks like it will be fairly straightforward and fairly quick and painless. All right, so thanks for watching. If you know anything else about these trophies, or if you know how to obtain any of these trophies, please do let me know or put the information in on the wiki yourself. It's a wiki, so anyone can edit it. Uh, thanks for watching.